We come down to WHM auto body. Paint the Jeep. They're going to help this out. All the release down there. They're going to do other work and we've got a dog as well. Yeah, so I all come down here, there's music going. I'm coming here just to interrupt them for the week. So we've got a whole week down here. Take the roof off, trip it all down, do all the paintwork. It's going to turn into Jurassic Park. I'll try to film as much as I can. It's been really helpful so far. And uh, yeah, we'll just crack on and I'll show you around a bit later. Okay, got all the wheel arches off. A bit of a pain in the arse, but we get there. Uh, just declutching the back now, taking all the splites off, the filler cap, spare wheel, getting that ready all sort of so we can get, to take all the bits off so we can actually just get to the bits so we can work out what's rusty and uh, wet. Oh, and the other side's done as well. And Paul's making lots of noise, let alone the radio, I might get done for uh, copyright. Okay, uh, actually the beginning of day two, but actually the end of day one if you understand what I'm talking about. So Paul did a smashing job when I left him last night, so thank you Paul. He's still resting at the moment, he'll be up soon. <sighs> Filled in indicator holes which aren't needed for the film. Uh, we've done some repairs, just some little, there's not much actually needed. Uh, the biggest bit was just down there. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> All looking good. We're just trying to fit the, just test fitting the, the passenger door at the moment. Just making sure that tweaks. Got a few little dents in it now. Looking at it, so we'll have to see what we're doing about that. I'm not going to be too hypercritical about little dents. This is supposed to be a safari car. Um, you'd be on a scene park, so I expect a few rhino dings, as I would call them. So yeah, we've got a tailgate to do a few repairs on and we've got to somehow just fix the doors because we need to fix the doors even though I don't really need them because I've got the half doors but <coughs> I need the full doors for now anyway so I might as well try and get them colour match. Got the wheels down here as well but whether we get time to do the wheels or not as well. So I've undone the front panel as well, not completely out yet. We've got a new one to fit so thanks to somebody from the Jurassic Park group for that but I think we'll paint that separately and uh, go from there. So let's crack on for the day and see how we get here. We want to try and get a bit of fill on this and some prime by the end of the day. Right, uh, 6 p.m. on the end of a uh, second day. Well, still not the end of the day, actually. We're just tucking into lovely food by Paul's wife. Uh, I made some burgers and homemade chips and Cronenberg. So, yeah, he's uh, put some fiberglass on and he's put some very thin stuff and then we put the filler on. But, yes, I've just been working on the uh, roll hoop. It's meant to be one piece, but I'm just making it out of sections because that's what I'll do. It's cheap. Uh, and uh, yeah, oh, knackered.
Okay, end of day two slash start of morning three. Left pull to it, oh, unbelievable bloke. He got it in primer, um, blocked down all the bits that need to be blocked down. Got it in primer, put a bit of guide coat on there. As you can see, so he's doing a proper job. I keep telling him to try and cut corners, but he won't. Um, yeah, so I think he's sleeping now. This is morning. We've got two doors. These are the full doors, which aren't going to be on the car for very long until we get the soft top, and then we can go back to the, we can go to the half doors. So really, I had to do some repairs on these because they were absolutely awful. The, these were just held together with bondo. So I cut all that out. I've replaced it with some metal. It wasn't perfect, but it's at least it's solid now, and the frames don't just flap about. So we're going to just basically paint the outside of these doors. I'm not even too bothered about whether we're going to paint the frames or not. We shall see. I could just do them black for now anyway when I get home. It's a bare minimum time we're trying to spend on these. I keep telling Paul to stop doing them. Uh, we've got the tailgate done there. We've got one of the half doors there. The other half door still needs to be prepped, so I need to strip the doors. Half doors now, that's what I'm supposed to be doing while Paul's sleeping. And, uh, yeah, we get these strips, so they're ready to be blocked. We've got wheels which I haven't even touched yet, which we might not do. They're one of the options that we might just not get time to do. Um... And yeah, the side skirts that have got to be done as well. So yeah, yeah, it's looking good. So yeah. Looking good. Okay, end of day three, start of day five. We're just 400 and everything now. Uh, all my stuff's over there. We've got a bit of filler work to do. Uh, not, no filler work, fine work now. I think all the filler work's done. And yeah, um, all my body panels. We've just got a scotch up and uh, five, 400 down the, uh, the grill. Get that done. Oh, and that's the electrician's there. Uh, working on the spray booth fitting some new lights. Yeah. It's got a good turning circle on it. Here we go, we got finished, I got into bed at 2 a.m. Paul at WHM Auto Body absolutely smashed it this week with me as well. Unbelievable work. Oh, there's the morning. That's it. Yeah, 
put the beige, gold, silver colour, whatever you call it, it's beige, I think, officially on first. Uh, we then, I then masked up the red areas using some stencils. We put a bit of white base on that first, it went under the red. And then we went with a slightly matte lacquer as well. So yeah, it's a four day paint job at my standards. Um, I did a, most of the prep work. So uh, as everyone knows with painting, it's all in the prep. So you know me, but it's a Jeep. It's a Jurassic Park Jeep. It's meant to not be perfect Jeep. The whole body, the whole paddle's all a bit, you know, it's an, I say it's a 90s Jeep. It's actually a 1940s Jeep really, isn't it? As anyone knows these Jeeps. But I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely over the moon for the amount of effort we put in. <sighs> Big effort this week. So yeah, let's get it all unmasked. Get all the archers back and bolted on. We've got to drive this thing home. It's Friday. <laughs> We've unmasked it. Look at the orange. Screen not correct. Uh, seat belts. I love masking up, but I love unmasking even better. So yeah, I'm sure there's a few bits to clean up here and there and touch up, but it is what it is, it's, it's, it's great. As I said, didn't get time for the wheels, but we've got the bulk of it done. We're in a Jurassic Park film. I've got a t-shirt to match. Uh, at the end of the video, it has been five days of sheer determination. Uh, thanks to Paul and Reese at WH Auto Body. Uh, without them, I couldn't have done it anyway. So a really big thanks out to them. Check out the description, check out the link if you need any bodywork, painting, blood. Check out their Facebook page. Um, I'll be linked to them and plugging them for a little bit, that's for sure, because uh, Paul went above and beyond working late nights to help me out do this um, and he didn't have to which is a nice bloke he's a patron so always a nice chap and uh, nice to meet somebody brand new for a change and uh, yeah Paul I'm going to be stalking you from now on because yeah it looks good obviously film didn't have the hard top on that's going to be removed we've got a soft top on order from the states it'll take a while to get here we've got the half doors that we painted as well so that's why it took us quite a long time to do all the painting 1am we finished Friday morning Got to bed at 2 a.m., back there at 9.30 to put the car back together uh, while Paul was still asleep. But uh, he deserves it, really, because uh, he needed to sleep. So, yeah, we'll have a quick walk around and uh, wrap up the video, and uh, we'll show this more. Lots more stuff to be done on this, um, but the paintwork was a big thing to get out of the way. Okay, walk around. Let's go through things. We've got uh, just an aerial, whip aerial. It's got to go bend over at some point. That's going to go on to the roll, uh, the lamp bar that I was making. Uh, yeah, lamp bars making, never got time to finish it. We didn't get time to, well, I did finish it. Did get time to prep it and paint it. The same with the wheels. The wheels got to be changed as well. We've got the correct wheels. They need going red as well. Uh, the masking turned out not too bad in the end um, for somebody that we, I, I did all the masking. Don't blame Paul at all. He just painted. Uh, I, I rushed it a bit. It was half 11 at night when we were doing the masking up and, oh, it's just, um, so it's not perfect, perfect, but it's not pretty damn good. We've got a slight tweak we've got to do the other side we'll repaint that as well at some point but we'll uh, do that um, broke one of the glasses in the mirror trying to figure out how to take them apart so stop doing that so they're all painted red as i said hard top comes off soft top goes on we've got half doors to go on these are just temporary that's why um you see in the videos if you get too close to them as well you see i've, I've taken all the filler out that was in them before because they were just held together with filler so there's metal holding them together but we just didn't paint the insides, we just painted the outside just to make it look a bit more. And you can see down the bottom, we didn't do any primary or anything too much on those, we just got them done. I've got to sort the lights out, I think I put all the lights in upside down, but again, we got, we'll go through that. We fitted a new grill, um, so that all came out, um, because the, the original one had a missing tooth on it. Uh, yeah, stencils on the front went quite well. Um, I just bought vinyl stickers, um, there's templates you can buy for them. Uh, but I think maybe you can get better things for stencils so they don't stick to the paint because one, uh, the glue from the vinyl stuck to the paint as we got it off, but luckily we managed to get that off before doing the lacquer. And uh, yeah, I didn't get a backing on the um, stickers, which I should have asked for maybe because it was quite hard to lay them out. I was doing them individually. So yeah, so the numbers might not be in perfect condition, but I uh, didn't get too bad. 
didn't do too bad. Still got a few nuts and bolts to still do the watch. It's uh, all on temporary. I just rushed out of there yesterday to try and get it back. Uh, we're going to stone chip all the inside of the arches, get rid of a bit of the overspy. We can all do that later. We've got thought that we've never got time to put the rear wheel back on. We've got extra lights to go back on. Screen correct lights. Um, we've got the number plates to go back on, the US number plates, which have got the Jurassic Park logos on them. And uh, yeah, just lots more little things to do. We've got, the, as I said, the lamp bar, the lamps to go on top, wheels to go on. We've got some spotlights on the front, which I haven't even looked for yet. They're like original Cher Cherokee spotlights, but I think I'm going to have to just print them. And uh, yeah, so again, thank you, Paul, again. You're a star, a legend. And uh, yeah, I got myself a Jurassic Park. Well, me and the daughter, she has, she's been away for a few days. She's coming back to Mars, so she hasn't seen it yet. So hopefully she won't watch this video either. Anyway, I've got to have a rest because it's been a long week. And uh, yeah, we'll maybe do a little bit of Frank's afternoon or tomorrow. And we'll do a little midweek update on Frank. And uh, back on him next week. So again, for anybody that likes the Jeep, this is it.